How are you? I hope you are well. Uh, you know that because of the outbreak of novel corona virus, you cannot come to school, and that is why we cannot meet you. Coronavirus has done enormous harms for all people all over the world. Okay? But you are students. You are students of class 12. And this class is very vital for you because next year you have to appear for higher secondary examination. So we have to continue our studies. We have to fight against novel corona. At the same time, we have to carry on our studies. Uh, previously, during the lockdown period, we have tried to do many things for you. Personally speaking, I have made a number of audios, a number of videos. I have sent them in the group. This is all for your preparation. Uh, now, our school, our headmaster, our assistant headmaster and all, the, all other teachers, we have decided to take the help of local cable TV network so that those who do not have smartphone can prepare with the help of uh, television. Right? So this is also a novel approach of the school for the students. Today in this class, we shall study a poem. The name of this poem is Asleep in the Head. Okay? The name of the poem is Asleep in the Valley. And the poet is Arthur Rimbaud. This is a French pronunciation. Rimbaud, not Rimbaud. Rimbaud Borona. Rimbaud. Arthur Rimbaud. And 1854 to 18. 91. This is his span of life. And he was a French poet. Okay? He was a French poet. And this poem is written against the background of Franco Prussian War of 1870. 1871. Okay, this word is said to be the background of this poem. Mr. Machuto, Shavai. Asleep in the valley. Prosome, let us focus on the title. You know the meaning of the word asleep. If I say, my father is asleep. What do I mean? I mean that my father is sleeping. So this word asleep tells you that someone is sleeping. Isn't it? Someone is sleeping. The where? Where is this person sleeping? The answer is in the valley. Right? It's a very interesting poem. This poem is on war. Right? This poem is on war. 
In this class, we shall study this poem. Okay, let us first read the poem. Small green valley where a slow stream flows and lives long strands of silver on the bright grass. From the mountain top stream, the sun's rays, they feel the hollow pool of light. This is the first stanza. If you count the lines of the poem, you see that there are 14 lines. So, I think you can guess what I what I mean to say here that this poem is a sonnet. Do you have any idea about a sonnet? In class 12, you have to read three, po uh, four poems, and out of these four poems, three poems are sonnets. There is a sonnet by William Shakespeare. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? There is a sonnet by John Keats, The Poetry of Art, and this one, Asleep in the Valley. This poem is also a sonnet. More specifically, this poem is an Italian sonnet or a Petrarchan sonnet. An Italian sonnet is divided into two parts. The first eight lines are called octave. Okay, octave. So, Italian sonnet, an Italian sonnet or a Petrarchan sonnet is divided into two parts. The first eight lines are called octet and the last six lines are called sestet. So, in this poem, we get an octet and a sestet. 8 plus 6 equal to 14 lines. Right? Now, let us come to the meaning. A small green valley. Very simple. You know, a valley in Bengali we call it Upotokka. And how is this valley? Small and green. Why green? You know, a valley is usually green. It is not a desert. There are trees, bushes, grass, flowers, insects, birds. All these things make a valley beautiful. So, a small green valley where a slow stream flows. Right? What a beautiful environment, what a beautiful atmosphere you find here. A valley and a small stream. You know stream? Choto Nodi. Stream. Choto Nodi ke stream bola hai. And how is this stream? Slow. Okay, it's not like the Ganges or it's not like an ocean which has strong waves. Here, slow stream. No flow. And leaves long strands of silver on the bright grass. Right? 
What does the stream live? এই যে নদীটা প্রবাহিত হচ্ছে এই উপত্যকার মধ্য দিয়ে নদীটা কি রাখছে অর্থাৎ হাউ ডাজ দা স্ট্রিম লুক কেমন লাগছে তাকে মনে হচ্ছে যে একটা লং স্ট্র্যান্ডস অফ সিলভার একটা রূপালি রেখা সে রেখে যাচ্ছে ওকে ইট লিভস লং স্ট্র্যান্ডস অফ সিলভার হয় কোথায় রাখছে অন দি ব্রাইট গ্রাস ওকে হোয়াই দ্য গ্রাস ইজ ব্রাইট অর হোয়াট মেক্স দ্য রিভার ওয়াটার সিলভার ইউ উইল গেট দি আনসার ওয়েট ফ্রম দি মাউন্টেন টপ স্ট্রিম দ্য সানস রেস রাইট ইস আদার দ্য ন্যাচারাল অ্যাসপেক্ট ফ্রম দি মাউন্টেন টপ স্ট্রিম এই স্ট্রিমটা কিন্তু ভাগ ফর্স লাইনে যে স্ট্রিম পেলে দ্য স্লো স্ট্রিম দিস ইজ ডেফিনেটলি আর নাও বাট হি আর স্ট্রিম মানে নদীর মতন সূর্যের আলোটা প্রবাহিত হয়ে আসছে মাউন্টেনের টপ থেকে পাহাড়ের উপর থেকে দিস ইজ দি আইডিয়া ফ্রম দি মাউন্টেন টপ স্ট্রিম দ্য সানস রেস ওকে The sun rays are coming, are falling on the entire, on the entire valley. They fill the hollow full of light. Okay. The sun rays, they, they refer to the rays of the sun. They fill the hollow. Here hollow refers to the valley. So, what you find in the first stanza is a beautiful description of nature okay valley river sun rays all these give the poem a romantic setting this is the first video very soon the second one uh, will be ready okay be in touch stay connected